So how would you like to be 100 years old without any aches or pains, without disease or without any sign of dementia? It sounds pretty good. And believe it or not, there is a place where that might be possible. Connie Chung has found it and went to pay a visit. This is Yuzurihara, Japan, a small mountainous village two hours outside of Tokyo. Hidden in these hills may just be the secret to a long, healthy life. Tadano Takahashi believes he knows the secret. And who could argue with him? After all, he's 93 years old. At this village karaoke party, there are plenty more who believe in this secret. Yuzurihara is a place where 90-year-olds are practically commonplace, and where more than 10% of the population is 85 or older. That's 10 times our national norm. What is not common is disease. Cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's are virtually unheard of here. Do you ever remember being sick? No, I do not. Mr. Takashi, I can't help but notice that you're smoking. How long have you been smoking? I've been smoking since I was 25. Mr. Takahashi, has anyone said to you you really ought to quit smoking? No one has told me that. Even the doctors have no reason to tell me to stop smoking because I've never had anything wrong with my lungs. And Mr. Takahashi is not alone. His neighbor goes through a pack and a half a day. I've been smoking for 60 years. I've never even thought about quitting. A local doctor who still practices is 80, as is the local innkeeper. But neither look or act like senior citizens. Nor do these ball players. The average age of this group is 82. This village may look like just an average Japanese town, but some medical researchers believe it may actually hold the key to the fountain of youth. They discovered that people here routinely live into their 90s and beyond, rarely have any reason to go see a doctor, and somehow have managed to prevent even their skin from aging. What's behind this secret phenomenon? Is it something in the villagers' genes? Or maybe it's the low-stress lifestyle here. Japanese researchers think it's more than that. They believe the longevity here is tied to potatoes. Potatoes? Unlike most parts of Japan where rice is the staple of the diet, potatoes rule here. Generations ago, villagers discovered they were easier to plant in the hilly terrain. And this doctor thinks they are the key to longevity here. His name is Toyosuke Komori, and for 60 years he studied the people in Yuzurihara. He himself adopted the local diet, which consists of very little meat, but a lot of homegrown sticky starches and vegetables. I feel very strongly that if I had not come here to Yuzurihara, I would not have lived this long and healthy a life. I probably would have died from some adult disease. It is Dr. Komori's theory that what the villagers eat gives them an abundance of a substance called hyaluronic acid, more than most of us have in our bodies. HA, as it is called, is something we're all born with but lose as we get older. In our bodies, HA enables cells to retain moisture. It keeps our joints lubricated and our skin smooth and elastic. The same qualities Dr. Komori finds in these spry, smooth-skinned villagers. I have never seen anyone suffer from skin cancer here. I have seen a woman in her 90s with a spotless skin. Mr. Takahashi attributes his smooth skin, even after working 50 years in the sun, to sticking to the local traditional diet. The skin on his arms felt like a baby's, and the skin on his legs barely had a wrinkle. Some of what Mr. Takahashi eats is on the menu every day at a hotel in Yuzurihara. The innkeeper, Mrs. Ishii, is 80 and looks pretty good herself. She offers us a variety of local vegetables and starches that are the backbone of the diet here. Obviously, all of us want to know what this food tastes like, right? Well, here it goes. Uh, this is the sticky potato. Tastes like a normal potato. A little bland, though. This is a root vegetable that's made into a jelly. Dipping it in soy sauce. Oh, that's awful. This is miso. It's a soybean paste. Mmm. 
very pungent. I don't think you'd like this. So the question is, if this is the ticket to longevity, would you eat it every day? I don't think so. To get around that, one of Japan's leading pharmaceutical companies is trying to say it doesn't take a village to live longer. They are putting HA in pills, which in Japan sell for about $25 for a month's supply. The company tested the pills on a thousand people. Roughly half reported smoother skin, less fatigue, and better eyesight. But we kept asking ourselves, just how real is this? We studied 18 hours. So we traveled to Great Britain, where HA experts, respected scientists and physicians from 23 countries, gathered to discuss the marvels of HA. Western medicine is just beginning to understand the full potential of HA. For years, HA has been used in eye surgery as a shock absorber to protect the retina. In a gel form, HA is proven effective in lubricating arthritic joints. And its ability to restore moisture and elasticity to tissues is a big reason why cosmetic companies have put HA in moisturizers for years. But these scientists believe that the most dramatic discoveries of HA's healing powers are just around the corner. Discussions here focused on HA's ability to regenerate the cells in our bodies. Here in the United States, doctors have been giving hyaluronic acid to patients since 1997. But the HA is not in a pill. It's in a syringe. The FDA-approved product is called Synvisc. So we're going to do the left knee. Dr. David Altchek, a leading orthopedic surgeon, says in some cases, the HA injections have delayed the need for patients to undergo radical knee replacement surgery. You're going to feel a pinch and then pressure. The results can be astonishing in terms of reducing the symptoms, improving their quality of life. At the New Jersey firm, Biometrics, HA is extracted from, are you ready for this? Chicken combs. Strangely, the mohawk crown on a chicken's head is chock full of hyaluronic acid. The combs are washed, sliced, and purified in an extremely sterile environment. But if you doubt that it's the diet keeping these Japanese villagers young, consider this. Since Western-style junk food infiltrated Yuzurihara a few years ago, heart disease here has doubled, creating what the Japanese call the upside-down death pyramid, in which adults die before their parents. 91-year-old Fuji Shiratori has outlived two of her six children. Although my children ate what I had been eating while they were young and lived here, but when they moved away, they chose to eat differently. The stone tablet at the entrance to Yuzurihara proclaims it to be the village of long life. It would be impossible to conclude that the phenomenon here is just a matter of diet alone. The elderly here follow a time-honored blueprint for good health. Exercise, low stress, and a healthy diet. An overall lifestyle that cannot be bottled. But if someday it can be proven that their longevity is a result of an abundance of HA in their system, well, maybe, just maybe, there's hope for the rest of us. I assume that I should have come here when I was a teenager to start eating the diet in order to enjoy the fountain of youth that you're enjoying. Is that correct? No, it's not too late. Therefore, if you practice the secret you learn here, I'm sure that you could live a very long time.